Hey, I'm going to show you how to create authentic looking film mats and borders in Adobe Premiere Pro without the use of Photoshop at all. Hopefully you enjoy. Let's get straight into the video. First, go over to File, New, and Black Video. Press OK and drag it onto your timeline. Now go to Window and toggle on Essential Graphics. Go over to Edit and create a new layer and create a rectangle. For the fill, make sure it is white. Next, to make it easier, type in 1920 and 1080 or whatever dimensions your video is in. Now decrease the scale to whatever you like. And now you'll be able to see the black borders here. And now you can also increase the curvature of the edges. So I'm going to type in 100 here. Now I'm going to increase the height and I'm going to decrease the width. And now we have something like this. If you don't want to follow this tutorial and want a drag and drop solution, make sure to check the link in the description for over 15 film mats that are both animated and have film grain on top of it. You can get 10% off with your first order. Make sure to check the link in the description. Now I'm going to show you three additional effects that you can apply on top of it to make it look more realistic. The first effect we have is roughened edges. And so you want to drag this on the top video track in the nested sequence. Instantly, you'll see the film mat becomes a lot more rigid. So you can change things such as fractal influence, and you can also change the scale of this effect. Now I'm going to apply Gaussian Blur so that the edges aren't so perfect and they're more smudged. For blurriness, I'm going to type in 10. And lastly, I'm going to type in Noise and I'm going to drag it onto our clip. And here I'm going to go for 20. And the reason you want noise is because this noise effect makes our film mat less static. You can see this if you turn it to 100, you can see it actually moves throughout our sequence here. Right now we have the border, but we don't actually have the video underneath the border. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So to apply this in your future videos, highlight both of these video tracks, right click and go over to nest. Drag your video underneath this nested sequence and click on the nested sequence and change the blend mode to multiply and make sure to scale in your video so that it fits. And what's great is we can go back into this and change the width, the height or add other effects to refine this border. What you could also do is you can also render out this part or you can take a screenshot of it and use it for future projects. And all you have to do now is drag it on top of any of your video clips and change the blending mode. That's about it. Make sure to check the description for the film mats pack and I'll see you in the next one.